Привет, hello, and bonjour. How are you guys doing? So if you are like a lot of people in the world, last night you watched the Savage Fenty fashion show, lingerie show, and the creative genius that is Rihanna blew your mind a little bit. So I immediately, of course, was inspired to do one of the looks from the show, and it happened to be a look from the first segment, and there's just some beautiful simplicity about it that really, I don't know, it got to me. The whole show, like, ah, oh, first of all, I, I can't even imagine the work that went into making that show. But the look that I will be referencing today to recreate, and of course this isn't the finished look, this is prior to the graphic magic, is one that was on several models, because there's like 200 models, but namely, most uh, famously, I guess you could say, Cara Delevingne. So I was able to find a few photos so far because the show just released. I just, uh, I don't know, there was something about it that really caught me and with the lighting and the pink and the visuals, it really, it really inspired me. So here we are. This of course is before I do the lines on my face, but I thought that I would do a quick tutorial on how to get that look. But if you want to see how I got this and then this, then please keep on watching. Okay, so clearly I don't have a mullet, and I also do not have a mullet wig. So I did the next best thing, which is kind of a half up beehive hairdo, which is also pretty much what Bella Hadid had for her hair, except hers was like six inches taller. I can't do that by myself. So here we are. I've gone ahead and already done my face, so what I've noticed from the show First of all, the lights. The lighting was really a visual standpoint and it played really well with the kind of simplicity of the makeup. So I noticed that all of the girls, for the most part, had a very matte face but with a very soft inner glow, so not really harsh highlighter, things like that. So I've gone ahead and done a matte foundation, but I also used the Jekyll Black Glow Drops, concentrating kind of here and on my cheekbones for a bit more of a natural from within glow. For my eyeshadows today, I'm gonna to be using the new Enchanted palette from Forever Flawless. And basically, I'm just gonna start with a very, very ever so slight inner crease contour. Next, the main star of the show really is just black eyeliner on the top lid, on the bottom, but really, really smoked out. So I'm just gonna use a plain black eyeliner. I'm also gonna use a kind of glittery, shimmery black eyeshadow to buff it all out and then go back in with a soft brown to buff out the under eye. Once that's done, that's basically the eyes other than mascara and lashes. So I have a very messy liner base done. Now we're gonna go in with the color and the buffing and just actually make it look good. Keep in mind there were like a thousand models each of them had some sort of different variation so I am basing mine based on the photos I've seen from Cara maybe a little bit of inspiration from others so next I am going to do my liner and lashes and then we will proceed with the rest of the face the eyes are done I'm absolutely in love with how they look by the way can I just say it's so like nice and simple, but sultry. I guess perfect for a lingerie show. So next what I'm gonna do, my face clearly is lacking a bit of color. I was waiting to kind of see how the eyes were before I added a bit of blush. I also don't wanna go too hard with the blush to take away from kind of the simplicity of, of the eye. So I am gonna go in with a bit more 
darker than I'd say I usually go. So I'm thinking possibly this one mixed with this one. And just right here, not quite on the apple of my cheek, but a little bit higher. Next, another fun part, the lips. So the lips seemed pretty, pretty natural. I think that's one cool thing with the show. Rihanna always plays on the person's own beauty and whatnot. So I'm not gonna overline too, too much. I am gonna line a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with a soft pink with a hint of a hot pink gloss. We'll see if that works out. But again, like I said, it was hard to tell a lot of the real colors because of the lighting. But from what I saw in photos, it is a pretty nude pinkish, slightly shiny lip. And that is the look before we do the graphic line. I am digging it. I feel like it's so nice and subtle and sultry. It's really, really great. So if you just want to stop here and, and wear this look with this fabulous hair, go for it. If you want to see the rest, keep on watching. Okay, so cool pencils ready for the final step. Mine has just been sharpened. Definitely recommend doing that if you haven't already and you might need to do it a few times throughout. So the photo that I'm mostly referencing for this look is here. And I'm nervous because, you know, I'm not a doctor for a reason. I don't always have the studies hand. So take your time, be careful, and we're gonna start with the graphic lines. If you do look at the makeup, it's not like the most precise clean line. It does kind of slightly bubble in some spots. So that helps. So I am actually going to do the cheek uh, graphic line as well. It's on Cara. It's not on every single model, but it's a little. And then we'll be done. So I'm just going to fill in some of the kind of clearish gaps and try to be fierce for some photos I guess but this is this is the look this video hopefully it was a little bit fun a little bit different but I just I really enjoyed this portion of the show the show itself just yeah it's something else if you haven't watched it I definitely recommend it if you haven't already please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe because I do fun stuff and I'd like to share that with you guys so thank you again let me know your thoughts below did you watch the show which portion was your favorite who was your favorite performer I absolutely love Miguel oh his something about his voice and that whole flower scene was just amazing amazing thank you again for watching bye